Okay. So let's uh, see some uh, basic probability theorems. Uh, so consider uh, n trial. So in n trials, there are two uh, events. Two outcomes uh, X and Y. Okay. So uh, so uh, in trial and two events will occur x and y so uh, it could be that only x uh, occur y uh, does not occur or the other way around y occur x uh, doesn't uh, three both X and Y occur and for uh, neither X and Y occur. Mm, yeah, so it's like uh, you have uh, uh two coins okay coin number one coin number two okay uh so if uh head is shown so so if if head is shown it is x and if uh For coin number one and for coin number two, if head is shown, it is Y. Okay. So, so you toss both coins. Okay. So it could be, uh, it could be, uh, head. and hit hit and hit then means that both x and y occur it could be hit and tail so means that uh, x occur y not occur or uh, or hit and hit hit and tail or tail and head so it means that y and x y occur not x or both tail tail means that neither x or and y occur so uh, to the next pitch so let's say uh, so let's say we give uh, px as the probability X occur. P Y is the uh, probability of Y occur. P X plus Y is probability 
of x uh, or y occur uh, p x times y is the probability of x and y occur probability of x given that y has occur so p uh, is written as px uh, px slash y so this is conditional probability so uh, x occur given that y has occurred and then uh, the other way around uh, probability of y given uh, x has occurred is the is dy occur given that given that x has occurred so uh, So, pro, so px, okay, uh, so related to the previous page. So px is the probability x occur. So so it could be. Uh, oh, okay. By the way, by the way, let's say. Uh, the number of uh, results that shows x occur and y not occur they say it is n1 and y occurred x does not occur n2 uh, both x and y or y and x occur and 3 so this is the, the number of observation when you observe the result, this result, and then n four is the uh, both uh, uh, neither x nor y uh, occur. So probability of x occur. So that is uh, uh, probability of x. So that's number of x occur number of x occur so that is n1 n1 and then uh, in uh, result number 3 2 3 4 so not only result number 1 result number 3 also we have X occur over the overall trials, so that's px and for py. So let's check the previous slide. So py y occur, okay. So y occur in is that number two and is that number three. So become n two plus n three over the overall trials, and then x o y occur. Okay, x o y occur. So that is uh, whenever x occur, whenever y occur, you consider it. So it is one, two, and three. So probability is n1 plus n2 plus n3 over overall trials. Okay. And P X Y is both X and Y occur, so that is uh, a three, right? So n three over n and then 
X occurred given given that Y uh, has occurred. Uh, so where 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 does uh, in in which result has the Y occurred? It is uh, result number two and result number three. Result number 2 plus result number 3 and uh, X occur. Uh, is N1. Oh no, no, it's N3. Okay. <laughs> it is N3. So N3 over N2 plus N3. So N occur given that Y has occurred. Uh, y occurred in uh, um, and Y occurred in result number 2 and result number 3. Right. So, so that's the the denominator. So the the denominator is probability uh, of x. Okay, x occur given y occur. So so n so it's supposed to be n three. And uh, y occur given that x has occur. So you we found that x occurred in uh, n one and n three. Okay, and y occur. Okay, y occur given that x x. So, occur is at the result number 3. Okay, y occur given. Y occur and we know that X also occurred. So, so that is Y occur given that X has occurred. Okay, so, uh, so if you check, uh, if you try to Read it uh, among this uh, relationship. Okay, you, you actually can do it. So, for example, you once if you check probability of x or y, okay, so that is x or y, okay, n1 plus n2 plus n3 over n. Plus n three over n so that is uh, equal to p x plus p y minus p x why is this true okay so now now let's do px plus p py plus minus pxy so px was uh, n1 plus n3 py is n2 plus n3 2 plus n3 over n plus 1 plus n3 over n. Px is 
n1 sorry n1 plus n3 over n and py is n2 plus n3 over n and minus bxy which is n3 over n so you end up with n1 plus n2 plus n3 over n okay and then e and then uh probability of x and y it is uh probability of x multiply with probability of y given that x has occur right so it's probability of x and y so it must be uh, multiplication of probability of x times the probability of y given that x has occurred which is uh, okay let's let's check it so p x y is n 3 over n okay p x is n 1 plus n 3 over n multiply with p y x which is n 3 over n 1 plus n 3 okay uh, so that's okay so that's is true and similarly so 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 see me so probability of x and y is is actually is equal to probability of y and x so that is probability of y times the probability of x given that y uh, has occurred so is it whole does this whole so p y is n2 plus n3 over n times the probability of x given y so that is n3 over n2 plus n3 so it is n3 over n so same so this is uh, same right so this is called uh, Additive law, addition law of probability, and this one is multiplication law of probability. Probability. Of uh, pro. probability okay that's all that's it for now thanks